Hello and welcome. My name is Biagio Mazza, pastoral associate at St. Sabina Parish in Belton, Missouri, and I'm here to welcome you to another Do You Know series question. Today's Do You Know question is, do you know the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit? The 50-day celebration of Easter closes with the celebration of the Feast of Pentecost, which in itself celebrates the descent of the Spirit upon all the followers of Jesus. Um, now, traditionally, the Holy Spirit has been understood as showering upon all believers uh, seven gifts. Um, uh, these, these seven gifts are uh, wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. They really had their source in uh, Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 to 3, that I'd like to quote for you. But a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and a fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. And so Jesus, the promised Messiah that for us as Christians, uh, was showered uh, with these gifts at his baptism. Um, so much so that these gifts uh, became the very personality of Jesus. Uh, in other words, he operated out of these gifts in all that he did during his life, uh, during his ministry, and his entire gifting of himself uh, for others. Uh. So at baptism, uh, when we put on Christ, uh, uh, we too are showered with the gifts, with these seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. As a matter of fact, uh, at baptism, we put on Christ and are gifted with these seven gifts of the Spirit. At confirmation, these gifts are renewed and strengthened for us. And at Eucharist, uh, uh, we pray to the Spirit to transform us the way the Spirit is transforming the bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ. And so through all three sacraments of initiation, we pray and we actually literally beg the Spirit to shower those gifts upon us uh, so that we can become the living presence of Christ in the world. Uh, we take on the mind and heart of Jesus in and through the, the gifts that the Spirit showers upon us. So because of the significance of these seven gifts of the Spirit in our lives, it is always good to reflect and think about what these, each one of these spirits means and what it, how they really impact our faith journey. You know, what, what significance do they have in our faith journey? So it's important to remember that each of these uh, seven gifts is actually a gift and that we cooperate with the Spirit. And when we do that, it really enriches our relationship with God. So uh, let's begin with the, the first gift, which is the gift of wisdom. Now, the gift of wisdom is the ability given to us by the Spirit to be able to see things with God's eyes and from God's perspective, to see the big picture that ultimately moves us to thoughtful action uh, on behalf of ourselves, of others, and of all of creation. The gift of understanding uh, enables us to understand reality from God's perspective, to see our role in the world in the context of God's plan, God's vision, and God's desire for us. The gift of counsels is often referred to as the gift of right judgment and enables us to make the right choices which are aligned with God's desires and gospel values. Uh, we make good decisions based on what is right and what is wrong, based, you know, jumping off of what God has, has desires for us and our gospel values again. Fortitude. Fortitude is the gift of courage. It enables us to really act uh, in a, a way that God desires of us. It's the courage to promote justice, to respect and actually promote diversity, to stay the course, the courage to stay the course when we are ridiculed for our beliefs and practices, 
the courage to really uh, stay there and, and, be, and really promote and actually do and speak the truth, to hang in there with that. Knowledge, not the gift of knowledge, we become aware of God's plans for us and God's desires for us. And, and, and therefore, we make decisions based on the, the, the knowledge that we have at hand, uh, always aligned with God and with God's values. Piety is the practice of humble prayer that really binds us uh, with God. Uh, it counters human arrogance and the desire to control. And uh, piety enables us to rely upon God as the source of all good things in our lives. And finally, we have the gift of, known as fear of the Lord. This is not fear and trembling. This is rather humble awe and reverence and respect of all God's creation. We are awed by God's invitation to share in God's very own life, and we comprehend the greatness and awesomeness of God. Uh, and, and, and this gift of uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, which enables us to see, perceive, and understand things from God's perspective. So just a brief summary of each one of these gifts and their importance in our lives as we journey in our faith journey. So I hope this has helped to explain just a bit about what these gifts are and how they apply in our everyday lives. And I hope you'll return again to more of the Uno series questions as we continue to delve into the role of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Thank you very much.